Hi everybody, it's Dan the Beardy Man here. Um, <laughs> for, just firstly, quickly, um, sorry about last time with the hazy camera, I had my nasty fingerprints all over it and I didn't realise before I started recording, so it was all like I had like a really crap filter on. Um, have cleaned it this time. Um, as you can see, you can all see my glorious ginger beard a little better now. It is the first of June. May, at least for me, May ran right back, right, but right, ugh, May ran by really fast. Um, I went back to work two weeks ago, so that's probably why May sort of shot through. But for a lot of people who are still stuck on furlough, for, um, Days are days are slow. Days are long because sleeping patterns have gone out of the window because um, you you get into the habit of staying up later and sleeping later, and eventually you miss your your, your sleeping pattern. Luckily, when I was on furlough, I had a three-year-old son who got up religiously at seven a.m. to keep me in my pattern. Although before I was getting up at like half five, but you know seven o'clock is early enough to make you want to go to bed at say half past ten, eleven o'clock. Anyway, June the 1st, it's also Whit Monday, the day after Whitson. Yeah, we are 153 days into the year, so that's 153 days of growth on this. That is my gorgeous beard and my infuriating moustache. I mention it every time the moustache is a real pain in my ass, but the moustache is a real pain in my ass. Still fat here and here, but just will not go together um, entirely. So still getting in the way when I drink and I eat. Being a fat bloke in the summer is bad enough. Being a fat bloke in the summer, I know it's not summer, it's spring. I get that, people will be going, it's not summer, it's spring. Point is, it's hot, all right? Too hot, I might add. I'll be, the, I'll be one of the first to say it. It's too damn hot. Anyway, being a fat bloke in the in the hot days, summer or spring, with a beard is horrible. It's it's so much warmer on my face than normal, and it makes the top of my face red. So it looks like I've been drinking in the daytime. You can probably see it now. It's warm in my house. Got all the windows open. And the ones that I can, um, because we have dumbass cats that don't usually go outside. So they don't really understand the outside world. So when the window is open wide enough for them to get out, they get out and eat some grass and you know mull around in the garden and probably will try and make friends with a car. Which it has been 111 days since I cut my hair or had my hair cut. So that's a thing. Um, but even if lockdown stopped tomorrow. And everyone could go back to work, including the hairdressers and stuff like that. My hairdresser, Donna Morgan, the lady who cut my beard off in the earlier videos, from the very first video, I think, has broken her leg. So uh, we wish Donna a, a swift recovery. Um, and remember that alcohol is not a, 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 a painkiller. Not to be used as a painkiller. Um, we are currently... Where's my... Currently on £122, my Just Giving page. I don't know if you can see that. That shot up loads when I did the, the fundraise, the, the, the giveaway. Mainly, mainly thanks to uh, Craig Small, who donated like 50 quid. Which, granted, he didn't even, like, he didn't even know the thing was on, but I mean, he, he yeah. He has a lot to a lot of good things to say about the charity, or at least the my cause. Which is good. But we do thank everyone else who also gave. Um even if you didn't win anything, you know, you have that warm, fuzzy feeling inside for giving to a charity. Yeah, so I've been back to work. Uh we we've been upgraded our, our contracts to sort of 
blend in the new and heightened PPE stuff. Personal protection equipment. It includes this. You can see my tuft at the bottom here. But luckily, even though it's not doing it right now, but when my beard is oiled and it's a little more tamed, this bit actually pushes quite nicely into my actual chin, or the the first of my three actual chins, um, which is why this tufts at the bottom so much. So it's actually like a lot of people say, we well, can't you can't achieve a good seal when you have a beard, and you're right, you don't achieve the same seal as if you had like a, a fully clean shaven face, but it is still doing a, a good job. Um, it's all right. Get back to work was nice. Um, as you can see, I'm still where I have been for the past three months at my house because Anthony is still um, shielding at his place. Uh, I've been doing some odds and ends for him, but we haven't really had a lot of contact that isn't via Zoom or, or, or Face Chat, FaceTime. Um, but he's doing alright, for the people that are wondering. It's been nice to get back. Um, beard is still the better of the two f two facial hairs. Although it is, it does make me a lot warmer, like I said. The moustache is the real problem. Um, I will be running... I'll be running a another prize draw this month hopefully we'll do it sort of halfway through the month so there's a couple of weeks or at least like a week and a half of time for people to donate if they want to and be entered into the prize um, what I'll do is I'll enter the people who have already given to the prize draw like I did last time uh, without John Lomax, Deborah Edwards, and Craig Small, because if they if they win again, if any of them win again, it'll be so I'm sure someone will shout fix. Um, saying that, a lot of the people that have given on my Just Giving page, which is www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash Dan the Beardy Man, um, are related to me. So I'm sure if any of those win, I'll also have to deal with sort of people screaming fix. But you know, we'll deal with that problem when it comes. Um, so yeah, we'll enter the people in there that are already given in that, and then obviously, hopefully, other people will give and we'll we'll up the up the up the charity money a little more. There'll be three prizes again, hopefully. Craig has already offered me one from last time for the next time that I do it, which is good, but I'll, more on that later this month, and I'll have to find two others, but I'm pretty sure I know where I can get some, which, at least one anyway, so. You can keep up to date with my daily photos on Instagram, or mostly daily photos, I'm a bit crap at the whole uh, daily photo thing, but I do try and keep on top of it, yeah. But I mean, there's never, there's never enough. I don't think there's never, and there's never enough of a gap in between the photos that I take, uh, so that people don't can't see how how much my beard has progressed. So that's good. Um, so hopefully things will get a lot safer in Britain over the next few months. Uh, hopefully the govern government doesn't. Uh, rush into raising the restrictions on lockdown too quickly and end up sacrificing lives because of it. Anyway, I hope everyone's staying safe. Don't do anything stupid. Stay two metres away from everyone where, where possible. Use hand sanitising gel. Use face masks if need be. Try and restrict the use of gloves because, firstly, whatever you touch with the glove is then on the glove, so it might be protecting your hand, but it is still on the thing that is over your hand. So if you pick something up and you get 
a virus or the virus on that and then you touch something else with the same glove, you are essentially cross-contaminating. It's like touching with your bare hands. So uh, be in the right frame of mind about gloves, PPE in general, try and keep a distance and just try and be nice to each other. Don't don't get upset with people in the in the supermarkets and things. If someone is approaching you in your area too closely for your likely, don't shout, don't make an ass of yourself. Just politely ask them to step back a little bit. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to sort of go with what you're asking them. And if you're not, if they're not, then shout, make a bit of an ass of yourself. Because, frankly, you did the right thing first, right? Anyway, so stay safe. Hopefully next month we might be able to uh, involve Ant-Man in, in, in a video so that everyone can see that he's actually still alive and it doesn't look like I've killed him. Anyway, stay safe. Have a good one. Uh, go, to my, go to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram my just, pick, just giving page for updates and keep an eye out for my uh, price draw. Bye bye.